Hi, I'm Ashton McIsaac, and welcome to Rocket Room 101. Last year, on October 31st, 2011, I launched Canadian Rocket Mail using 1936 First Canadian Rocket Flight stamps. These stamps were made uh, and produced by Gerard Zucker um, uh, uh, 75 years ago. I found them on the internet from a company on the West Coast uh, named Jamaica Stamps. They sent me some, and I launched them last year. The video is also on my channel. It's very successful. So I launched them with an Arcus high-powered rock rocket, very similar actually to the Astro BD uh, high-powered rocket from Aerotech next to me. Now, uh, since then, I have moved on to a second project, and what looks like a regular high-powered rocket next to me actually is not. This is a smart rocket, my smart rocket. Now, a smart rocket does a lot of different things, and this video is going to explain some of them. So we're going to move over. And I'm going to show you what I've come up with. Now, this is the Astro BD rocket, as I said. Now, I've come up with a new series, and I certainly haven't changed anything in terms of the structure of the scale rocket. The Astro BD is a scale rocket from Aerotech. It has not been um, uh, modified at all. What I have done is add a couple of side boosters to um, uh, this rocket, uh, and I call this the Astro BD-2, but we're going to get that into that a little more in a bit. First of all, I want to show you the Astro Logger 54. Now, this is an electronics bay inside the payload bay uh, of my high-powered rocket, and it's meant to stay in there. So, uh, I'm going to pull this out, and it has a little cooling system in there, so I hear something rumbling around, and I'm going to slowly pull it out. And here we go. So that is what the Astrologger 54 looks like. And the Astrologger start, will start with the cooling fan. And actually, uh, there's a little hole uh, in the rocket. It brings air from the outside and it circulates through the payload bay, actually, and then kicks the air back out. So uh, it, it works really well. I've actually tested it, and the electronics inside the um, Astrologger 54 are actually cooler than, say, the if you had an electronics uh, further up in the payload bay. So quickly moving on, we'll take a look at the Marza 54 altimeter. It's a it's a uh, from Marza's uh, Systems Incorporated out of uh, Ohio. It's a fantastic altimeter. This is actually going to detonate my side boosters. It's going to record all the important flight data as well. Um, so uh, barometric pressure, accelerometer, all that stuff is on this little um, uh, uh, altimeter. So. We're moving along here, we're going to flip this uh, over and what you're going to see is the Stratologger uh, altimeter from um, uh, Perfect Flight. Now this is fantastic, this is going to back up the Mars 54 and uh, it is going to record up to 29 bits, data bits in the first 1.6 seconds of the flight. So really amazing stuff. Um, and so those two altimeters are inside what I call, like I say, the Astro Logger 54, which has a little cooling system with this fan that I, uh, that I uh, purchased. And um, just the bay is, is very accessible for the two altimeters. They actually are going to be able to um, uh, um, uh, kick back telemetry as well, too, which is important. So we're going to be streaming live information during these launches as well. So uh, we're going to uh, um, uh, kind of finish it up here. So this is my new family of rockets that I'm going to be introducing this season in 2012. Uh, like I say, this is the Astro BD-2, uh, and it's going to finish off with the Astro BD-4, which is going to have a, a total impulse four times bigger than this guy. Uh, these guys are uh, kicking out three pounds of thrust each. So um, uh, another thing, uh, Hobbs, who helped me out on the uh, video, uh, the rocket mail video if you get a chance to uh, take a look at that uh, uh, we had a he uh, supplied a on board GoPro camera and uh, Hobbs of internet fame uh, did all of uh, my editing and anyway he's going to help me out with the video uh, for the season's launches as well 
um, Apogee Components I want to thank, uh, Sigma Rockets, uh, Featherweight Altimeters, uh, fantastic, I can't say enough about them, and Aerotech of, uh, as well, and my home hobby shop here, uh, uh, Leading Edge, uh, they've been fantastic. So um, uh, we're going to have these rockets, uh, these launches are going to be recorded, so if you stay tuned to this channel, uh, you're going to see the Astrologger 54 in action, really taking in all ty types of flight data. We're going to see what type of difference that, uh, say, the Astro BD flying on its own versus with these boosters uh, versus with boosters four times powerful than this and we're going to have all that flight data and video to say okay this is you know the difference so and it's all going to start with my little invention the astrologger 54 so anyway uh thanks for watching uh, rocket room 101 uh signing off i'm ashley mcisaac and uh yeah uh, play safe and play hard